Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Yes, your father and I figured you deserved it. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married, and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelleros. He's here early. I know. You're so lucky. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Ah, my little girl. It's the last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, Best not to mention it to your betrothed. Well, we don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Go on then, I still have some things to do and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? was a woman, she lived in the sea. I didn't love her, but I think she loved me. I brought her diamonds, rubies, silver, and gold. But all she wanted was to be saved from the cold. She begged me to catch her, convinced me I should. I promised her a house, all gray stone and wood. We made love in the sea, we made love on the shore. I was just there for playing, but she wanted more. But there's one small problem, you see. I can't grant her wish. My wife gets suspicious when I come home smelling like fish. Whoa, whoa. Are you a sight for sore eyes? It's a wedding, isn't it? Hooray! Woohoo! Yeah! around the eyes, mostly. I still don't see it. Whenever I look, I just see the mother. The mother is far more delicate. Hello there. Congratulations on the big day. Have you seen Soros? Well, if you see him, ask him to come by and say hello, will you? Well, there you go again with We're not poor 
perspective, you know. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? That's easy for you to say. Apparently your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. Great. I'll spend the next 50 years with a nice girl who hides grain away for the winter. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine, but let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Maybe you should invite it over for dinner. <laughs> ha! Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Varn Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, Knife Ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I... I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. I am a lucky man to be so warmly welcomed. Uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I thought I'd stay calm, but finally seeing you has made me... Well, let's just say I'm not calm. It was hard to leave High Ever, but your father's matchmaker spoke highly of you. And rightfully so. Denerim itself seems friendlier than High Ever. Perhaps because it's so large that humans take less notice of us. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll come find you. Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. I'm more worried about some of our boys. Wine is flowing, and I don't think we want another incident. Let's do this quickly 